I am here in a, a barber shop. I have no hair, so I'm not getting a haircut, but I'm a little guy over here getting his hair cut. <laughs> I thought it was a perfect opportunity to talk about just a, a couple of things. Being in business short term, what I call overnight, like all the quick hustles, and high tickets with a low amount of work, and then of course you have your long term business. Let's just say Amazon, very, very small profit margin that they make. Looks like they're gonna be in business for a very long time. Just about everyone is a client of Amazon. So the United States government is a client of Amazon. And then you have other companies who do have high tickets, maybe like certain car dealerships or something like that. And these are companies that have been around for a long time. So over time, they've kind of built up their brand. And so people feel comfortable going to them and paying those big dollars. But when you have a lot of salespeople sometimes, they have this impression, impression that you know, you're gonna be able to get in something and make a ton of money really fast overnight. And they start off like supercharged up, 30 days are like this, and then by the third month they're like this. Because the impression of what they thought was success, which is basically make a lot of money with the lowest amount of work, the actual, the, the least amount of results for the client, and they think they can do that a few times and just make a killing and just sit back and chill out for the rest of the time. Well. That is not reality. That client eventually finds out that, wait a minute, I've been sort of taken advantage of. That client does not want to do business with them in the future, but also that client wants to currently discontinue doing business right away. And it backfires each and every time, but I guess if you do enough of them, I guess the notion is that, hey, you know what? You know, some will stick and some won't. And that's almost like pouring water into a cup that has a hole at the bottom of it, right? You're just gonna have to work harder and harder and harder in order to continually keep water in it. Yeah, so these are people who are looking at the short term as opposed to the long term, but it's gonna be really tough to stay in business operating like that. So you have, like I said, the high ticket, low results, low work, low results, and then you have a, a minimal connection. People are paying $15,000, $20,000, and they really don't have access to communicate with you too often at all. That kind of business can easily be reduplicated and copied by your competitors because you're not doing anything. If it's all automated, why can't someone else automate the same process? Um, and again, you will have businesses who've been around for a long time where because of their brand and the quality of what they do, they can do certain things that a person who's just getting into the business can't do. Case in point, you may like uh, Bentleys or something like that, which are super expensive, but the quality and the time they put into a Bentley is on a whole other level. Uh, you want to be reliable, you want to be countable, and you want to be accessible, which is going to beat out 99% of all your competitors. You want to stand behind your word. If you cannot stand behind your word, it means you're not trusted. If you're not trusted, it's going to be hard to, first of all, get business initially, and especially to get repeat business. So, I hope this message leaves you well. Uh, I wish I had some here to cut here. Unfortunately, I don't, so I'll be just sitting here with my little man while he gets his haircut.